honor, but I'm told that uh, in places like in the Arctic, where indigenous people uh, sometimes might, might hunt a wolf, they, they'll, they'll take a double-edged blade and they'll put blood on the blade and they'll melt the ice and stick the handle in the ice so that only the, the, the blade is protruded and that a wolf will smell the blood and wants to eat and it'll come and lick the blade trying to eat. And what happens is when the, when the wolf licks the blade, of course, uh, he cuts his tongue and he bleeds and he thinks he's really having a good thing. He drinks and he licks and he licks and of course he's drinking his own blood and he kills himself. That's what the imperialists did to us with crack cocaine. You got these young brothers out there thinking that they're getting something that they're going to make a living with. They're getting something they can buy a car like the white people have cars. Why can't I have a car? They're getting something they can, they can get, get a piece of gold. The white people have gold. Why can't I have gold? They're getting something to get a house. The white people have a house. Why can't I have a house? And they actually think that it's something that's bringing resources to them, but they're killing themselves just like the wolf who's licking the blade and they're slowly dying without knowing it. That's what's happening to the community. You with me on that? That's exactly and precisely what happens to the community. And instead of blaming the hunter who put the damn handle and the blade in the ice for the wolf, that what happens is the wolf gets blamed, gets blamed for trying to live. That's what happens in our community. You don't blame the person, the victim, you blame the oppressor. Imperialism, white power is the enemy. Was the enemy when it first came to Africa, snatched up the first African here against our will is the enemy today. That's the thing that we have to understand. See? 